Hello friends, welcome again to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the current source design using op-amp. Okay, we will understand how will you design and simulate current source in Alta Spice. Okay, we will understand how this circuit works, how you can design this circuit in Alta Spice. How you can see a combination of operational amplifier LM741 and one PNP transistor. You can design a constant current source and you can drive a particular load with the constant current source. Okay, so we are going to understand all these things in today's video, right? So let us understand first how this circuit works, right? So you can see here this is very simple circuit, right? So you can see here the this is the 12 volt. I'm giving this 12 volt to here, and at this point of time, you can you can see here I have connected a voltage divider circuit. Okay, so this is R1. The value of this R1 is 10k, and the value of R4 is 10k. That means this is the the value of R1 and R4 are same. That means you will get here the 6 volt. Okay. And now you can see this 6 volt is going to the, the input of operational amplifier. Okay. So this is this is non-inverting terminal. This is plus terminal. I labeled it V in plus. So this is non-inverting terminal of op-amp and you can see you are feeding 6 volt to the 6 volt to the non-inverting terminal of op-amp okay so due to the virtual grounds concept in operational amplifier what will happen here is v in plus equal to v in minus right v in minus so due to the virtual ground what will happen is the voltage at positive terminal of op amp is equal to the voltage at negative terminal of an op amp so what you can see here at this point of time uh, at this year since this is connected to the emitter of an pnp transistor and you can see the base of this pnp transistor is directly driven with the op amp output okay the base is directly driven to the op amp output now you can see once you get 6 volt here you can find what is the current flowing through this resistance that means uh, 12 volt minus 6 volt divided by 6 ohm that means 6 volt divided by 6 ohm you will get 1 ampere current flowing through this R5 so I would write here IR5 equals to 1 amps right so the current flowing through this resistance is IR5 and it is 1 amps so now what do you see here the same current more or less the same current will be flowing through this load this is the this is the capacitive load and the value of this capacitive so for the sake of simulation I kept this value is 4.7 farad okay that means it is going to take much time in the simulation right so here i have connected one label that is c and initially the voltage across this capacitor will be zero we have defined vc equals to zero okay so guys until now hope i hope that uh, you don't have any doubts okay if you have any doubts please feel free to write comment in the comment section i'll happy to answer you i'll happy to help you let us move ahead to run the simulation so you can see the voltage at this positive terminal equals to the voltage at negative terminal and here you will get 6 volt and you can find the value current flowing through this resistance r5 and more or less if i neglect the loss of this transistor vce the current flowing through this capacitor is more or less around 1 amps okay hope i'm i'm clear until now now let me run the simulation so go at the simulate button edit simulation command and for since here since here you see the value of this load 
load capacitive load is 4.7 farad so i kept the simulation time is 250 second okay so this is for the sake of simulation now let me run the simulation so i'll run the simulation and just click on it go on here tile window vertically so that you can see both in the same window right now let me show you the here voltage across this point this is 12 volt let me show you the voltage at this point this is more or less you can see this is the 6 volt it is varying from 6 volt to 6.054 volt okay this is more or less a 6 volt now if you want to check the voltage across this terminal you need to select like this and you can see how much voltage is this okay so at this point of time you can see the voltage is around here 5.7 it's around 6 volt right now let me show you the output of this op amp let me check how much it is coming and you can see the output of this op amp is more or less starting from 5.4 volt and it is coming around 11.15 which is very closer to the supply voltage okay you can see here i have connected v plus directly to at this point that means the supply for this operational amplifier lm741 is 12 volt okay now let me run the simulation and show you the current right so guys you can see here you can see your maximum current you can see here is one amp that is clamping at one amp that means you are driving your load capacitive load you are charging your capacitor with the current of one amps initially for the period of some time let us say here i see it is 27.3 second your capacitor is charging with one ampere one ampere constant current and then once it had some charge you can see current is reducing like that and you can see after the period of time your current is zero okay once the capacitor is fully charged that means what you can see here i am charging this i am sourcing the current for this capacitor c1 at with with one amps right you can see so this means i am providing a constant current to charge this capacitor i am clamping the maximum current which is going to draw by this capacitance by using this op amp and this resistance okay so hope guys until now you have understood how will you design the current source using operational amplifier and pnp transistor right so this circuit i haven't built and tested the prototype this i made for the simulation purpose and to educate you guys if you have any further question feel free to ask him in comment section Thanks for watching this video.